I'm Scotty Schember from Sports Realm, and today we're talking about the top five duos in the NBA. Um, it's apparent that that upcoming NBA season is going to be full of duos, considering that Westbrook just got traded to the I mean to the uh, to the Rockets. So let's get started. Yeah. So for the upcoming season, let's start with our number one duos in the league right now. Number one, I'm going with the Los Angeles Lakers. As much as it pains me as a Celtics fan, Anthony Davis and LeBron James is undeniable. What's your top duo, Max? I mean, I have Clippers bias, so I have to have Kawhi and Paul George at one. Respectable. That's surprising, Severin, considering that you're a diehard Celtics fan. But yeah, well, I got to give credit where credit's due. But, um, yeah, Anthony Davis and LeBron James are the best duo. I mean, if you, if you look at – LeBron is arguably one of the best players in the world every year. And Anthony Pretty Davis, the best player in the world. And game. Anthony Davis is also arguably top three. Even he could be up there too for best player. So yeah, so I have as two top, definite top six talents. And LeBron James, there's a debate for Kevin Durant's not healthy right now. So we're we're discussing duos for the upcoming season. That's why, if you see Brooklyn's been left out, it's because we're discussing for the next upcoming season. And obviously Kevin Durant has a torn Achilles, so we won't be seeing much of him next year. But as far as next year, Kawhi and LeBron James, I think they'll be duking it out along with Giannis Antetokounmpo for the best player in the world title. LeBron James is getting up there in age. It's going to be hard for him to reclaim that, but we'll see at this upcoming season. All right, so for number one, I have Kawhi and Paul George with a very strong close second, LeBron and Anthony Davis. We just don't know what we're going to get out of those two. They've been going through injuries the last couple of seasons well LeBron last season Anthony Davis has been shown to be injury prone and then above them I have a Kawhi and Paul George while they are also injury prone you just have the finals MVP in Kawhi along with a top three MVP candidate in Paul George I gotta put them number one well I feel like I feel like Anthony Davis and LeBron they were they were not like they were already out their teams were out and there wasn't they knew they weren't going far in the playoffs so there's not that much effort there it's not even as much injuries it's more like they got to save themselves for this year. Yeah. And as far as saying Kawhi Leonard finds MVP, that doesn't come close to the pedigree of a LeBron James. And when you come into the playoffs, you know LeBron James is putting up a near triple-double average of 30-plus. And now he has the ultimate pick-and-roll, pick-and-pop partner. Me, even more athletic and dangerous than Kevin Love and Chris Bosh were to him. He might not be quite the same shooter, but athletically and defensively, he's going to be a problem. Well, for number two, I have... The uh, Clippers duo Clippers. of Paul George. Yeah, I think it's going to be and pretty consistent with the Clippers-Lakers 1-2. Yeah, yeah and then is. I have the Lakers at 2. But I think it's really close, though. Like, they, they, it is. It the, is. I, I kind of want to see I want to see the Clippers win. Yeah. Because that would be, like, awesome. Kawhi Leonard, Montrez Harrell, Lou Williams, Paul George. I wouldn't be, like, cheering for joy to win the title, but I guess as long as Lakers don't win this season, I'll, I'll be content with the season as long as the Celtics make a mm-hmm. decent playoff run. Shout out to Trez. Go get that chip this year. Go get the chip. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, don't we talked Portland. Don't be we, Portland. We, we talked. We talked. Hey, hey, hey. We, we talked about free agency, and Trez told me he was excited. Yep. You can check that out in the first episode. I mean, of Sports Realm. So he was right. The excitement is there now. Yeah, they had a lot of opportunity to go get go get those dangerous players that got Kyler and Paul George. But then the other big woes bomb that came out was Houston Rockets acquiring what. Russell Westbrook, which I have as my third best duo in this league. And Russell Westbrook and James Harden, former teammates reuniting. Mike D'Antoni, he's going to have a lot of work cut out for him trying to figure out how to get them two to share it. But that is a loaded talent. Two former MVPs, two outstanding passers and scorers. And then Westbrook's a very active defender when he wants to be. I think with Harden playing more on the ball, Westbrook will be able to unlock and put forth more energy into defense and kind of show why he's one of the better on-ball defenders in this league. Who do you have at three, Scotty? Mm, three is tough. But, yeah, it, it's got to be Westbrook and James Harden. But that just that just really depends on how they play together. Yep. But it's it, kind of hard to gauge. It is really hard to gauge. But if, they, if it works out, then they will be a top duo. Max? I'm going to go out the way and say – Giannis Antetokounmpo and Chris Middleton is the third best duo in the league. What? What? You're pairing the league MVP and Giannis with all-star Chris Middleton. I just am going to have to say that's the third best. Both great two-way players. Second best two-way duo. To me, 
it's kind of hard for me to even consider it a duo because it's really yeah, exactly. A, it's it's really the honest. best, and like it's, best and player on the planet, and then all star, like fringe all star co captain. I don't, I wouldn't. It's, it's a duo, I guess, because it's the two top players on the team. But as far as duos could go, I'd rather I'd rather go with Houston because they have more balance in the backcourt mm-hmm. rather than just one player carrying the other player getting shots and creating off of the space that Giannis takes up. And number four for me, I, for me, number three and number four were kind of interchangeable because you don't know how Westbrook and um, how Westbrook and James Harden are going to work together. But for number four, I have Curry and Clay, the old Splash Brothers. Even with the ACL injury. Yes. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. 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 And I mean, I mean, I mean, they're going to be good like in playoff time. Playoff, playoff time. time. They will be a. Hopefully, Clay comes yeah. back to full form. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, yeah. Nice four. Um, four. I have the Westbrook and. Harden duo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Westbrook and Harden duo. Number four, I'm going to go the Philadelphia 76ers. They're the scariest team in the East right now. Their, their starting lineup is loaded. They lost to me, by the way, they brought back Al Horford. But Ben Simmons, I expect him, although he showed very little improvement from last year, he's still a very unique talent. Number one overall pick out of LSU. He can do everything you want on the court except shoot anything resembling a jumper. But Ben Simmons, I think he'll learn more to grow. He'll grow more as a player, and I think next next year they'll be more creative, and he'll be less of a liability on offense with this shooting handicap. And then Joel Embiid, he's a monster, best big man, best center in this league. If Anthony Davis moves to the four spot, and then you got Jokic up there too. But Joel Embiid, he's a dangerous player. And then Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid, six ten, seven feet, seven foot one. That is such a dangerous, talented duo, and. Arguably, that's that's the most talented duo in the league right now. It's just a matter if they can unlock that potential. Yeah, the C. You saw how Deb- Tobias Harris was talking about how Ben Simmons has been working on that jump shot. Which, I mean, we hear that all the time. Yeah, I know. But hopefully, yeah. hopefully, hopefully, we get a chance to see a glimpse of yeah. the new Ben Simmons. But we'll have Ben to Simmons see. got that jump shot. They m- probably they're gonna move up in that top five duos list. But I, I think I think you gotta throw in someone like Damon CJ, who they got. A board, a board man coming in in Hassan Whiteside, mm-hmm. including Yusuf Nurkic. They're going to be scoring all the time. They're going to be insane. So they are my number five. Close, but you guys, are, it's a close second. Yeah, D- Dame and CJ Dan Lord is my guy, <coughs> but Dame he's an All NBA caliber player, All NBA second team this year. CJ McCollum he's shown last year that he can show up in the playoffs. He also didn't play too bad in the New Orleans series either, where Dame struggled mightily, but. Number five, I'm going to have to go with the Golden State Warriors because when, when it comes playoff time, Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson, I'm counting on Klay Thompson to come back because they still shouldn't affect his shooting that much. He'll be able to get up plenty of shots during his recovery and show why that's the greatest shooting duel of all time. And then they got D'Angelo Russell and Draymond Green. They're still rolling out four former All-Stars next year. We'll have to see how it works out, but I really like Curry. I expect Curry – to go absolutely nuclear this year. Although Dennis Russell is going to be taking the ball away from him this year. Last time he played without Kevin Durant, he did go nuclear. I put up 30 a game, over 403 pointers. Just an absolutely insane season and one for the ages. And I expect Steph Curry to be a contender for MVP this year if they had the record to match it. Um, my number five spot, if it wasn't already obvious, I have the Simmons and B duo. I just don't know how Clay is going to come back. If he does come back, then I would. 100% not be surprised if they are the top five duo in the league. What do you guys, Cody? Wait, I, I said I have the um, Portland. Yeah, oh, Portland. Portland. I have Portland. And Philadelphia is close. Six six for me. She's it's kind of hard putting them back at six, but they, they'll move up. This league is full. Yeah, exactly. It's, full of duos it's stat- like you got to think about Jokic out there. He's got he's got um Millsap mm-hmm. and Murray. Yeah, he so. don't have a castmate up to his caliber, but yeah, yeah Jokic yeah. is a very awesome talent. Mm-hmm. Right. Along with also with the same thing with Celtics, they have Kemba Walker. Exactly. You don't know if any of the Kemba, young... I wouldn't put Kemba in the class of Jokic. Yeah, because well, Jokic is especially in the playoffs, he was just different. You got to give an honorable mention to Terry Rozier and Cody Zeller. <laughs> we don't know how they're going to be this this next season. They, be, they, Cody Zeller could go crazy. Scary Terry and Miles Bridges. <laughs> yes, exactly. So uh, Miles Bridges, shout out to Miles in the summer league. He's been going crazy. Speaking of going crazy in summer league, Taco Fall. Taco, dude. seven feet six. What a pickup! Big man. I was, I was like, I was watching the draft with Max. He knows, like, both of our teams. We were just saying, like, we want no, Taco. Like, we want Taco. I want Taco. Not going in the second round. I was wanting Ball Ball. He need a home. 
Yeah, yeah but it's just like if, both of them. It was just like if they need a home. Exactly. Yeah, like, when Taco Fall comes this league, he he hasn't he hasn't really had the conditioning because he's just so big. It's it's really it's like almost impossible in that kind of condition. You got to be a special type of athlete to run up and down the court at that size. But I think he'll look to put up like eighty two percent from the field, just dunking everything, and then maybe we can get that free throw percentage up. He'll be able to get on the court in short sprints when they need some defense. So Severin, I got a question for you. If you had to pick, it Celtics, Kyrie Celtics, or Kemba Celtics, who are you picking? Is this as far as I'm trying to win a game or from the heart? From the heart. From the heart. It Celtics for sure. Going back to Isaiah Thomas, he put so much into that organization. He knows everybody hated to see him leave. Unfortunately, we didn't get to sign him this year, but hopefully he has an opportunity to shine with the Washington Wizards. Oh, yeah, Washington that'd be Wizards. good. Washington could be good. It's him, kinda, they had, they had some bad blood when in that Washington series that went to that, seven that games. That series is awesome. Yeah, with that all those game awesome. winners, yeah. Isaiah Thomas putting up that 50. But that's his new home. <laughs> but now he's Let's playing Let's go, there. IT. John Wall's hurt, and hopefully he can put up at least 17 a game running that spot with the backcourt mm-hmm. made of Bradley Beal. I think him and Dwight are going to be deadly. Him and Bradley Beal. Yeah. Well, Dwight, remember Dwight got shipped out. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. He hasn't signed anywhere yet, has yeah, he? he did. Mm-hmm. He's really struggling to find a home in this he league. Is, yeah. Along with Carmelo Anthony. No, okay, what, what I'm thinking from the Hornets' standpoint right now, we're not going to be good anyways. Look, <laughs> two, two blockbuster people. Dwight Howard... We'll come back home. Come back home, Dwight. Come back home. And Carmelo to Atlanta to go and, home. and Carmelo Anthony. Imagine I would have a Carmelo Anthony jersey and a Dwight Howard jersey signed. And at this oh, point, I could not see them on Hornets. No, 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 I could not see a Carmelo point, Anthony at this Hornets point, jersey. In the, being in the Hornets fan base, that's that's what we can do. Best duo of 2010. If y'all, if they were on the same team, yeah, yeah. You no, know, and best duo next year, NBA Finals. We'll win the NBA Finals. You might not make the playoffs. All right. Well, all right. Well, let's um, talk about. Did the Knicks lose New York City to the Nets? Yes. Next year, I, they I, lose I New think, York City. I think I think they d- lost d- it. D- d- I think they hate James Dolan. They're just done. They're done. New York City's done with him. Well, if you they're say done. They're done. If you say, if you say they didn't lose it last year after having the worst record in the league, they still had everybody getting the hopes up. I think they'll get everybody's hopes up for one more year, and then when they strike out again, Kevin Ray comes back. Then the city will be gone for a long time while Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving run the Eastern Conference. They will run it. They were going to run New York. Unless Boston They're going to run the whole East Coast. Jason They're going to run the Brown, East Coast. Jay Watch, come They're up. They're running we'll the East see. Coast. It'll be crazy. Wait, no, no, no. Actually, I'll, no, I'll be fine with, with uh, Kemba going places. Kemba, Tatum, and Jalen Brown. Shout out to Kemba. Love Kemba. Yep, mm-hmm. Shout out Kemba. Mm-hmm. All right, I think that wraps it up. Oh, yeah, that wraps it up. Thank you guys for listening. Um, like and subscribe. Follow our Twitter, SportsRum US, our Instagram, SportsRum.us. Go to our website, SportsRum.us, and thanks, guys. SportsRum out.